Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm a big fan of BenQ screen bars. If you don't know what they are, they're basically these lights that sit on top of your monitor and they illuminate your desk. Now, what I like about them is that they don't take any space from your desk. They don't cause any glare on your monitor screen and they feed every monitor, even curb monitors. And I literally have all screen bar models from BenQ. Now the original screen bar comes in black and it has a touch sensitive buttons on top of the bar which controls everything from power, brightness, color temperature. Then the screen bar plus came after that which includes a dial for an easier access to the light controls. And now the screen bar halo is the new addition. So the halo is a combination of the touch controls from the original bar and the dial from the plus model but better. Now you see, one thing I didn't like about the Screen Bar Plus is that now I had to deal with more cables. The one that comes out from the light goes to the controller and then from there it goes to the power. Now yes, it's cool that it's closer to my reach, but honestly, I don't like dealing with more cables. Now with the new Halo Bar, they combine the best of the OG Screen Bar and the Plus model. The dial is now wireless, so I don't have to mess with cables anymore. It uses three AAA batteries, which are included and it connects instantly to the light bar. It is also touch sensitive, so it's easy to use. There's a sensor that detects movement when you're hovering your finger and it activates the controller. And from there, you can adjust brightness, color temperature, or save a profile of your preference. Now, in addition, there is an ambient light for behind the monitor, which you can turn on by tapping the sensor. You can have the ambient light on, tap it again and then you have both lights on and then you tap it again and you have just the main light on. I really like this new addition to the screen bar. Another thing I noticed is that now it's a bit bigger than previous lights. The new halo bar measures around 19 and a half inches while the previous bars measured around 17 and three quarters, almost 18 inches. So yes, it's around an inch and a half bigger. So just take that in consideration. I have them sitting on 32 inch monitors and they both fit fine but if you have a 27 inch monitor plus a webcam maybe you won't have enough space with the new halo bar. They also include an attachment for curved monitors basically it adds about half inch of space so the light bar won't sit too close to the screen. Now with that being said I do have one negative now I don't like that now the power cable is part of the light bar. You see, on previous models, you can detach it and replace it just in case if it breaks. But now, you can't do that no more. So if it breaks, you'll need to replace the whole light bar. And it's not cheap. It sells for $179. So just keep that in mind. Besides that, this is probably like the best accessory I have on my desk. I use it every single day. It saves space from having a desk clamp right here on, on your desk. And it's also super easy to use. Now, I know it's a little bit expensive, but trust me, it is worth every single penny. If you want to purchase one, I'm going to leave links in the description of the video. And trust me, you're not going to regret this. I love this light. I really love it. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will be super helpful for me. And as always... I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out! Smash that like button, smash it. Smash it. Don't hesitate, do it.